Alrighty folks, what is going on today? Be coming at you guys with a new deck. Now this is a deck that I've always wanted to build, but I never did. But since Dangerous have came out, you know, we can definitely make it, e it's, very, it's a lot easier to build a deck now since Dangerous have came out, um, and especially this type of deck. And today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be playing some Zek Zeka Zombies. And um, if you guys haven't been watching the channel for a long time, or even if you have, you heard me talk about Light of Sekka. I've always liked the card, and I also suspect it, excuse me i've also suspected that uh basically the meta was going to shift to where everybody is just playing uh the second versions of decks it did not pan out that way and you know it, 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 that that was a i guess a bad call but kind of i mean ba's made a second version and that was pretty successful um but all in all i've always liked the light a second i've always wanted to play it in zombies but like i said there was no way to really consistently pull off uh, a lot of things because you weren't able to really generate that many monsters without spells and traps usually in zombies but like I said, Dangerous came out. Dangerous make everything a lot easier. So we're going to be showcasing that deck today. We've got a couple of replays for you guys today. Hope you guys do enjoy it. So let's hop straight in. And before we start, as always, if you guys did enjoy the video and if you guys would like to see further duels with this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys feel like helping the channel out, click an ad or donate to the channel by using one of the links in the description, or you can do both either or i appreciate any help that i that you guys do send out and as all and as always i hope you guys did have a lovely weekend hope you had a good merry christmas i don't know if i said that in the beginning but i don't think i did but yeah man hope you guys had a lovely weekend and yeah man we're just going to get started back into these zombies and as you can see my hand is yes and, and, and before we start um also yes i yes you have to play hand traps because those substitute for the spells and traps you don't play along with the danger so we i think we play about 11 hand traps counting furloin so yeah so here as you can see i don't open up really spectacularly but i did open up a unizombie with a banshee and you guys already know where this is going and a great thing about this is that you can still play light a second still allows you to play spells and traps you just can't have any in the grave when um basically before you basically you can't have any in the grave uh when you activate the card it has to be only light a seconds in the graveyard um, or none at no spells and traps at all. But like since zombie was a fill card It's a technically it's a continuous It's going to stay up and it really benefits this deck immensely that we get to do that. So Due to standard play drawn to a uh, uh, drawn to a ghost bell now Here is where I made a very big mistake I definitely 100% should have just negated the effect because if he pops this I have three dead cards in my deck and that's pretty much my draw power throughout the whole deck but i decided to take a chance for how you know how often would they just get a double hit he doesn't and now we're just going to just be basically taken off right now you're going to just start the engine and we're going to get going drawn to another sucker um you're going to use mizuki to get back to yuna zombie and you guys already can tell where this is going uh, and yeah man this right here we can still do all of our normal plays as such and you know use and basically spam out um, Goblin zombies and stuff like that, and, and then we're gonna go Gumbler. Yeah, it's, it's just, just gonna get out of hand for my opponent. There's nothing he can really do. But yeah, man, uh, I was sitting here. I was trying to draw a uh, light a second because I wanted to show you guys. And I don't know why I gave him um, Ibly and made no type of sense there. But hey, I did anyways. And then here you go. As you can see, I'm just sitting here trying. I'm like I told you guys, I was trying to draw into a light a second so I can use it, but. Uh, we didn't technically need it and we just went for a game right there and uh, yeah, man Let's go ahead and get to the second duel. We're gonna see some light a second play. All right, here we go And as you can see we've opened up not the greatest of hands, but we did open up zombie master We basically opened up a, 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 a zombie with a zombie master, which is really good And then also we opened up two dangers now the, the the mistake I made right here was not summoning zombie master Definitely should a zombie master. I mean summon zombie master, but we do get bailed out because I do end up hitting the Mizuki And then w once you get something like that and look at that drawn into a solitaire and another great thing about this deck uh, I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but another great thing about the deck is the dangers are all different types with their same attribute And you know what that opens up to play for folks? Yes, it does opens up to play for curio so we can just do a lot of stuff and what you got to do You definitely got to be careful how many Mizukis that you do use because once again You cannot play burial you can't play any other spells and traps in this deck You have to you know just stick with what you got and yeah, man You could you know use all your Mizukis and end up losing but 
the plays you make folks and like the hand traps that you could draw into and stuff like that you're, you're just going to be good so here we're going to go for that curious play and send the banshee chain the banshee get a free zombie world and look at this play right here folks is what you just call straight bustedness so here what we're going to do is go ahead and get the uh, goblin zombie going get the what's the name out go to a griffin and since we still have a light of second in the graveyard we're going to set the light of second and get a draw and a search we draw into a yuki yuki asaki that's pretty good then we're going to use global moon to search for four line because as soon as he decides he wants to attack you guys already know what's happening give him the ivly now nothing right here is targeted by uh anything and look at that man and we didn't even use light a second yet we used one light a second but technically we didn't activate one and we have six cards on the field and five in hand and we have three technical hand traps so basically we have a battle stopper we have a graveyard negation we have two we have two negations with that and also griffin is on the board stopping anything that's not cold i mean technically not, uh co-linked so yeah a lot of stuff does get negated here i'm going to use doom king to banish that uh electromite because i don't want him to go off he's going to get him a purple poison then he's going to go dweller but what is that going to do folks he can't activate dweller because it's not cold linked with griffin and uh yeah man it's, it's it's just pretty much over from there i'm trying to find the pause button and here we go to game two and it, oh shit didn't mean to pause it I meant to swap it but here we go against game two and look at his damn hand and i know what you guys might be wondering man that's a terrible hand it ain't fucking terrible when you just need to survive one turn or basically you just need to do something for one turn and that's all he needs to really do right now is basically survive the one turn because he's going to go straight into dweller because he knows exactly what i'm playing he's not able to uh add off of start time i believe he added the one from his extra deck which was bad and then here's what i messed up completely i definitely could have came back and, and possibly won this game i should not have activated the light of second because i needed to re, uh, get a western name on the board so that is something i definitely shouldn't have did and if i didn't do that i could have just attacked with mothman um and then i could have uh pretty much uh just then main phase two sent banshee and then dump uh, uh doom king and then we could have came back from there but yeah man this is you can't make the mistakes like that and that pretty much is what costs me the game here because i'm not able to get to zombie, i'm not able to get to zombie world and then also that third tune magician comes in handy because if i stop his start time because i'm thinking he's searching for another tune magician i stop the start time and he already has another one in his hand and then once i see it i'm like yeah this that's just enough that's just enough we we don't need to continue the game because we know where this is going but folks we're going into game three and here we go with game three and we start off with zombie world and we also have a danger with the gozuki and once again i make a very big mistake you always summon one of your uh basically you basically want to summon either mizuki um oh shit oh, oh i can't even look at my hand but you always want to summon a gozuki a mizuki or a yuna zombie something basically to get it on the board so you can just start all your plays here we go with the danger mothman and oh my god do i love me a danger mothman here once again get unlucky but it's still going all right because if we were going to hit it we were just going to go off and in here now we're just going to basically just do every play that we can do and like i said we, we still have all the same plays we do with any other deck but like i said you definitely have to be careful because you will use all three of your mizukis first and if you're not careful enough or you're not able to pretty much build a great board you're not able to actually be your. i mean you're not you're going to be sitting there stuck you might actually lose your opponent because you don't have enough and all three of your mizukis are gone so you really don't have that much recovery plays but folks we got to the skull deep and we're going to give him the Ibley because we know what he's playing. Look at the draws. We draw into a lighter sack, a Jackalope, Ash, and another draw. So you obviously know what we're going to put back. We're going to put back three cards we don't need. Search the Globe Boom. Activate a lighter sack. And then look at that. What can he do? He can't do anything. This is done for. Activate the Globe Boom. Get out Drew Shell. And then uh, once again, go into another sucker. Mm, I probably should be playing three of them bad girls. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. is so fun. And then look at this. Now what can he do? Once I have four on board, five in hand. And actually. I'm about to have five about to have six and actually yeah i'm gonna get a free draw card and now i have a draw log board have an ash blossom and a ghost bell and two basically negations right there then he has to waste his battle phase it's it's just beautiful man it's just beautiful and that's why i really do like the light of Seca because light of Seca, uh, it does uh what's the name and the reason why i used um the reason why i used ghost bell instead of uh doom king right there is because you really don't have that many options against pendulums to actually use ghost bell so i mean i gotta use it where i gotta use it and then he has a pendulum call which is gonna get ashed and yeah it was it was just pretty much done from there so there's nothing really he can do in the end that's pretty much a quit but uh, what was i about to say i was saying something about uh 
But what was I saying? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what's the great thing about Light of Seconds. Did you get those free two draws? And then you can, you know, you can recycle anything you don't want back. And you can draw into another card. And then since, you know, like I said, you, you get a draw off of Phoenix. You get a draw off of, you get four draws off of Skull D. And it's searching through your deck for your, all your zombies. So like I said, you're, you, it's basically this, it's essentially the same as the other decks. But, you know, you just don't have burial. You're just really trying to lock your opponent out, turn one. And more, more times than not, you're going to be able to do it. Because um, like when Light of Second resolves, you're, you're pretty much going to win the game. You ask any BA player that. You resolve a lot of Sega, it's going to get a little out of hand. I also forgot you can play it in trains. You can also play it in mermails. But here we go, going up against Phantasms. And as you can see there, we drew into another Light of Sega. But well, like I said before, you activate that Light of Sega, you definitely want to get that Zombie Ward activated. Bam, Light of Sega. Drew into two Mizukis. Got very unlucky for some odd reason there. Uh, and then going to Summon Sorcerer, gives him the Mizuki. Target the Mizuki, brings out the Glow Boom. Able to go to a Cosmic Magician. Bounce that mug back because I don't want my opponent to have that. Then we go ahead and do this. <clears throat> Sadly, we don't get two draws off of the sucker, but we, I mean, off the sucker, but we do get one. And here he goes. Now, uh, <clears throat> he's playing the Phantasms. So I'm thinking, all right, I got to at least play around a something. He searches a, uh, what's the name? Searches called by the grave. Out of, for some god reason. I mean, not, not for some odd reason, but once he searches called by the game, I'm thinking, okay, he's going to have something for me. So I'm just trying to bait it out. And then he flips the metaverse, and I'm like, oh, damn, I have to. You know, I have to give him the token. And then when he searches this, I'm thinking, okay, well, why would he search that? Like, I'm, I I, don't know his set, so I don't know he has two of these set. I'm thinking, but why would he search this, though? It's kind of, it didn't make any sense to me, but, I mean, I, I, I didn't understand it. But he did, uh, he did search it. Uh, I thought he would search at least the popper, to pop the zombie ward or something like that. Then, here I go for Unicorn trying to spin back the, uh, the field card. But, alas, he negates it. And then here I attack. And now that I'm thinking about it, why is there a reason why he can't use this? Because because he did have a what's the name on the board. Like he did have a normal monster. Is there a reason why he did not use this, folks? You guys let me know. But now that I know like this deck really resolves where your opponent not basically not reading or anything. So once you basically gain advantage, you just don't activate those likes pointing against Cyphers. You just end your turn and eventually just you're, you're gonna lose because they can't they can't do anything. If they use like card card D or some shit like that. They can't really play the game. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> you just you just basically just attack. You don't really do anything. You don't really use any effects unless you have to, and then you just pray that your opponent doesn't have anything. But yeah, man, we we got through that, and I think we got one more duel. And last but not least, here we go, going up against the Weather Reefs with their new support. And as you can see, we started off once again. And for some odd reason, look at this hand. This hand is very bad. Very, very bad. We do have Joel, though. So at least we can stop something. But we're playing Weather Reefs, so we don't have to really worry about that. So here, activate the Nessie again. He changed the uh, pattern. And pattern is actually good against uh, what's the name? Because they're able to uh, banish whatever card you draw. And here, we're going to go into Curios. And what I noticed... Um, when it, when you, if you guys don't notice about weather, they have to special summon to come back. So just give them the Ibli and that's pretty much shut down basically the whole part of their deck. And here we're going to do the Curios Banshee play once again, because hopefully we can mill something here. I go for that to pop one of his back rows and I get that back out and then <clears throat> use Yuna's Army's effect, attack into that, hoping that he uses, uh, an effect to bounce this back. And I just end my turn because I don't need to attack because then these won't come back during the draw phase. So then I'm good. He has to attack into this. I had summoned uh, Freudlein, paid 3,000, hit him with a young 4,300. And uh, yeah, he sets his card. And yeah, they, they can't, they don't come back. So <laughs> it'll just uh, come back during the next standby phase. They don't come back at all. If they don't come back during that standby phase, they don't come back at all. It's a weird flex, but I beat by the reason. You know, I kind of felt good because that was a good play. All right, folks, I so hope you guys did enjoy that video. This is the deck. And once again, I should not be playing. Um, where is that? I don't think. Tri yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut this. Trigate does not need to be in here because you, you really can't really use. You can't really use it. So we're going to throw an Omega in here because Omega definitely should be in here. Um, and, you know, when Borlo Savage Dragon does come out, even though it is coming out, we're definitely going to be playing that as well. But, yeah, here is the deck list, folks. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see me play more of this, I would definitely play some more of this. I was just testing it out, and I really had a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, man, I love Mothman because Mothman guarantees what you really wanted to do is just to either get the draw or discard something. So, yeah, I really do love that. 
and uh, yeah man light is so broken if you resolve a light of you're most likely gonna win the game and man we can just put up so much so much uh what's the name we can put up uh what do you call it so much um so much uh so much negation i guess and then like the hand traps and also that there's zombies this is also just adds to it um but yeah man oh no we play eight hand traps okay well i overshot myself with technically 10 with four of but yeah that's it for today hope you guys did enjoy the video we'll be back tomorrow i believe with shiri newies or may actually no i know tomorrow actually no, no, yes shiri is gonna be thursday because i think i'm gonna start playing matches with that deck tomorrow no no shiri newies is friday because yeah i forgot christmas was today um uh so yeah you guys seeing this wednesday thursday is going to be a doom kaiser deck um with assault mode because that looks so fucking fun when i seen it uh, i believe harpy king uploaded the video uh, so shout outs to him as well and once again another shout outs to where's wolves um for i uh, give basically just giving me the uh, deck idea to play light of second zombies and um yeah man we're going to be playing the doom kaiser assault mode deck uh tomorrow after this video yeah so look out for that and uh, as always if you guys did enjoy this video like comment and subscribe i will see you guys tomorrow if you guys want to help the channel out links in the description uh, uh links in the description below and also you guys can click that to help support the channel or you can guys can do both besides that that is it for today so check out for tomorrow with the doom kaiser deck because that's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be it's going to be so nostalgic it's going to be so nostalgic